Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off, of course, as always, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we will teach you a sound doctrine. Strong Shalom to the whole four elect. The Lord will have mercy on in these troubling times that we live living in. <coughs> Service of Zion. Out here again, man. Live camp. It's like it. There we go. Oh. Um, Coming out here as, as the Lord commanded us through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashi, we all shot. We're going to go into that action report. Do you get action report real quick? That's the third. Because uh, the times we're living in right now, man, as you see, everybody, all the brothers' pages is getting uh, took down. Uh, you know, all the uh, accusations against the Israelites, okay? These are the times of the famine of the word, man. This is why brothers must, must, uh, uh, they must take heed to doctrine as much as they can, okay? Hey, the scriptures say we get a Lord no rest for a reason, man. And that's that's us also applying ourselves, studying, reading, et cetera, et cetera, as much as we can, learning from the brothers, chopping it up, getting as much edification as we can, man, all right? Uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now it's come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointing. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Yeah, the accuser of our brother is cast down. Matter of fact, he did it on. With that, can you get um, what's that uh, song? No, uh, yeah, you can hold that song 94 21. Yeah, the accuser of our brother is cast down, man. Okay, the accuser of our now, what they do is you know, they set traps and snares, all right. Uh, they cast lots, all right. Uh, matter of fact, we might have to get that. You got it, you got it. Psalms 94, verse 21. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, right, and condemn the innocent blood. Yeah, kind of, they gather themselves together against the righteous. All the nations conspire against us for how to keep us down. You got all these interviews set up with this uh, uh, YouTube CEO. Okay, all these Jewish people set up. Are they setting up all these different interviews because they're making sure that it'd be known that they're still, they're, they're trying to send a message to you, Jinx, man. Like, yo, we still in rulership. You know what I'm saying? We still have the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? We still have to say so. Okay? But they only can do it as by working together. Are they all coming together to conspire against the innocent blood? The innocent blood are the elect, the elect virgins of Yahweh Shimon Shah. Psalms 37, verse 32. The wicked shall be watching the righteous and seek him to slay him. Yeah, kind of so the wicked are watching the righteous. They sit there literally watching us on a human and a stumble. You know what I'm saying? Watching us bring out this word, you know, watching us uh, preach, preach the Bible and read the scriptures in, in the Bible. All right, just to take down our videos, man. Okay, that's a miserable life, man. You know, it's good right. to say they sleep not. Like the brother said, that was a great point. That shit was outside of our business hours, man. So you you literally got people watching us 24-7, man. You got people monitoring the Israelites' videos, mainly the uh, the doctrine of the apostles of the Great Millstone, which is the doctrine of your house shot, man. You got people all around the clock uh, watching us, you know, man, and uh, seeking to put stumbling blocks before us. It says, Psalms 94, verse 21, they gather, verse 20, sorry, 20. It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame of mischief by a law? Right. So, you know, your strength is by framing a wickedness through laws, statutes, and commandments, because you know how the Heavenly Father operates. He operates through laws, statutes, and commandments. Uh -huh. The elements and everything of the planets and the universe operate by laws, statutes, and commandments. So you 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 sit up in the seat of the Most High, uh, uh, you know, as if you is the Most High. So you take all of His uh, formulas, man. It says, verse twenty one: They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. Yeah, man, that's what you do. You condemn the innocent blood of the elect, man. Okay, the hope of the elect, who is gonna be the elect. Okay, ain't none of the elect gonna be not hopeful elects. That's why we say we the hopeful elect. You get offended that we say we the hopeful elect. Well, all the elect was hopeful elect before they came. You know, I mean, they was already, you know, predestined, but 
before they officially became it in the flesh. This is first Ezra chapter five, and uh, I started uh, seventy two. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea, and holding them straight, hindered their building. Right, just account for me. Uh, in second, uh, 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 second Ezra, uh, Ezra chapter four. Okay, uh, they all they want to. They always desire to build with us. They always desire to build with us because uh, they understand that we are we're building in truth and we're building a correct way. Okay, the reason why they move like they do is because they're certain. Okay, they're they're a liar. They're a murderer. They're a liar. So if, if a liar is found out, you know what I'm saying? His 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 whole thing crashes. So in order to stay above, they got to keep the lie going. That's why that's why it's a bad thing to get caught up in lies, man. Because you got to keep the lie going so you won't look look crazy. It says, but that's why it's scripture saying Isaiah 47 that uh, the Lord is lifting up his skirt and we feel his secret parts. First Ezra 5 and 72. But the heathen of the land lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea and holding them straight, hindered their building and by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building. Because right, because they said secret plots against Jake, man. Okay. They said secret plots against Jake. So one of the secret plots they're gonna set against us is they're gonna accuse us of uh, right now. Oh, matter of fact, did y'all hear about uh they got a new thing out? Uh, 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 uh we already know the FBI got to watch this out and call it as terrorists, but it's a new thing out with specific camp name. They named three camps. Elder Yashawampo was one into it. Uh, he, they said IUIC, uh, I think I S I U S U K. I think so. And when GMS and they have three on there. Con, con, con. That's crazy. It goes state by state too. That's crazy as hell, man. Yeah, but they've been they had that for a while though. And yep. you know, they, they've been watching it. This is like yep. since, since since it started. You know, because they understand what this is. This is uh, ordained. Yeah, that's a secret plot, man. Um, this is, they don't think it's scripture. Uh, Jeremiah chapter forty nine, verse ten. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able. To hide himself, his seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbor, and he is not. Yeah, God, so he's not able to hide himself. And it's true, and it's You know what I'm saying? There's nowhere for you to run, and what's nowhere for you to hide, man. There's not enough curtains on the stage for you to, for you to hide yourself backstage anymore, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're naked. You're not even in your right clothes to be on stage, and, and the curtain is is, uh, is opening up on your ass. You know, and that's the spirit of your heart by smell shine. Consuming you with the spirit of his mouth. Like yeah, you say in Second Thessalonians. And that's beautiful. Right? And like you said, hey, hey he's he backstage trying to switch into the other Yeah, because the world is a stage, right? You know what they say? Yeah. The world is a stage. You get caught with his name. You want let, let no crisis go to waste. Yeah, you yeah. use the earth, you use the planet earth as a theater. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what, you know, the Romans was big in, into theater. Yeah. Okay. Because they don't deal with reality. Yeah. You deal with falsehood. That's why on your TV, you got all these reality TV shows, man. Because you deal with, with falsehood, man. You try to uh, create a fabricated uh, idea of what life is, man. And, and the two thirds of our people, they've they, they been that out. Artificial intelligence, but not natural, man. It says Jeremiah 49, verse 10 But I have made Esau bear, I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled. His and his brethren and his neighbor and he is not right. And which made you think about um the covering cat, man. Because that's how you was able to hide yourself, man. You put that covering cat of of uh, what's it called nationalism or uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, you know how, how you gave na uh, the nations all new names. Yeah, kind, you know what I'm saying? Kind. You and your nationalism, you give every nation new different names. That's how you was able to hide yourself. You know what I'm saying? Amongst the trees. Hey, I got a free check on that. Hey, Con, like it. Like I brought out before. That's what uh that's why uh uh the Lord said we live like beasts. We 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 resemble Esau because what Adam do? Adam did the same thing. He was he, he was ashamed, he went to hide himself amongst the people. Right. That's he, could, yeah. he, he got that from you, man. You know? Yeah. Micah chapter two and verse one it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity. That work evil upon their bed. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. 
pursuing the job 9 to 24, you know, that's your turn. So they're going to exercise the gift that you have our senior outside gave you to its full extent. Right. Verse 2, and they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Right. So like the brother was saying, they go over to a land, they take over, and then they either completely wipe away the traditions or they mix in their traditions and the traditions of the land. Just like they did with the so-called Ish people. That's our custom mixed with paganism. You know what I'm saying? This devil is wicked and he's not going to stop until you know, the chariots come back. Yeah, because also with that too, the little, when, 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 you, when, it, when, you, when you read Second Ezra uh, uh, chapter 2, uh, uh, it says uh, that the lineage or the, or the geon uh, it was reckoned by genealogy because the Levitical priesthood was going in and, and they were uh, uh, mix, you know, so-called mixing their seed amongst the people. So it was a, it was a big confusion on who was actually Israel. So they because we, we we used to keep a record book and we can't we can't um we can't tell who was actually Israel because of the different mixing, so called mixing. So and you can also read the same thing in the pocket. But the point is that. Oh, uh, damn, you said, you said something that was pivotal. You know what you said that? They wipe out, but they take the water. Yeah, oh, the water, because, and then the, what they did was the medical priesthood and uh, the, uh, the Levites, they started, to, they, they had to, uh, what they did was, the, I forgot who it was, but they pushed all the Israel out, and they kept some the, the, uh, Levites back. They kept the Levites back so that the Levites could teach them the ways of the Most High, man. You see? So, and then now, and then they started to uh, come up. They started to learn. They started to learn, and then they started to come up with different ways and different customs, like the Talmud. You know what I'm saying? And uh, all these different customs that they uphold to. And they, like your brother said, they mixed it all together, man. It's like real quick. That's how you know that these generations are really the same. Don't want. Don't want. Think about the concept of the uh, what's that? Yeah, at the Colosseum, the not the Olympics, but like basically the gladiator sports. You know, all that shit was devised by Esau Edom, but who, who was in there? It was Jake, but it's sports today. Right. Slavery. They got you tilling the land because they know you know how to work the land. Right. Okay. Oh, you got it, brother. Um, Psalms 49, verse 11, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Ooh. They call their land after their own name. Right. So this man, like you said, he'll crush a man, even a man, and his heritage. He went throughout the earth, he still in lands, okay, take it, take it country, uh, you have a good two and twelve drops. I, I, I got you. Okay, kind of, you have a good two and twelve, man. You will go to the bloody city, man. It's all for the, you can get named three and one, though. You know, you know, uh, it's all for the body of the go throughout the earth, and then he, he named the lands after the, uh, his, his explorers, man. Have a coup, chapter two, Verse 12, woe, woe to him that build up a town with blood and establish a uh, city by iniquity. Yeah, you know, the, uh, all the covenants broken, all the treaties broken, yeah? you know, you, 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 when you uh, heard about uh, so, uh, the, the, the new world, so-called, you heard it was uh, streets of gold, you know what I mean? You knew there was all these racial resources over here, man. You got it, you got it. Got it. This is Nahum. Chapter three, verse one. Woe to the bloody city. Whoa, that's two. That's two witnesses. Woe to the bloody city. Woe to the bloody city. All right, destruction, calamity. Yeah. It is all full of lies and robbery. Yeah. The lies, man. The America was built upon lies, man. Yeah. Like the sister said, America was uh, founded upon uh, racism and bigotry. You know, captivity, man. Hypocrisy, man. That's, that's what this place is, uh, is uh, specializes in, man. And they got mad at the, uh, if I started the video on it. They got mad at the sister because she said that America specializes in that. It's like, I wouldn't say it specializes. Yeah, what the, what the hell do you call it then? Yeah, right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my brother, uh, like, my cousin, I told you they got this, like, podcast show. What do you think it's talking about? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, they think, like, it's, it's really bad because, you know, especially the climate that we're currently living in. I mean, it's always been the same climate. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's friends. crazy. That's You've crazy. Never been accepted. Yeah. It's the same climate. It yeah. never, it never changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to act like it was this period from the night in the '90s that it was just perfect. Like it never yeah. changed, man. Yeah, come. But but you know what happened? The TV shows, man. Yeah. The TV shows hypnotized your ass 
so that you don't actually see the reality when you walk outside your house. Yeah. You blind now. Yep. And that's that, uh, 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 damn, what I'm about to say. That's the, yeah, tell a lot of Tell a lot of vision. We can keep going into your deception, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I got one quick one real quick. Uh, this is second Edwards, chapter 1521. Like, as they do yet this day. No, you good. Second Edwards, 1521. Uh, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also in recompense in their bosom. Thus said the Lord power, my right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not seize over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. So they shed innocent blood upon the earth like we've been bringing out, because that was the only way that they can establish what they what you see here today as as uh, what, what they call their, their kingdom and their heaven. This is the only way they can establish it up by stealing, raping, and lying, man. You know, live by the sword, the Lord, our Lord, our Lord, the He saw the blessing. Man. Yep, kind. He said, "You're gonna live by the sword, man." Okay, that's why you got everything that you got. You, you got everything that you got by the man who you don't want to acknowledge, man. Yep. But He shall touch the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth, man. Like I say in chapter thirteen, man. If you don't do that, they're gonna see the blood of the Lamb. You know, you worship the preacher more than the creator, man. That's still Esau. Eat the wife, man. Nahum chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Right. The prey departed not. It's never, nothing that doesn't change, man. I'm talking about the four and five and 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 the four and five you believe in the Bible? Okay. All right. Hey. Jeremiah said, is he a, a, a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Because right. we always in captivity, like you said. Like, it's always been the same. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nahum chapter 3 and verse 2. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheel and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariot. The horsemen lifted up both the bright swords and the glittering spirit. And there is a multitude of slaves and a great number of carcasses. And there is none in of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. Because of the sons of men. Huh. Because of the multitude of whoredom, right. of the well favored harlot. Right. You the well favored harlot. Right. And the Lord is saying, Let favor be shown to the wicked, right. yet will he not learn righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you, the Lord has given you, the whole shall bless you with the blessing. Favor was shown to you, beg for a blessing, you got the blessing. And then at least what you do is the blessing. Yeah, you put you put the earth in a condition where the Lord did come back to us, bro. Every everything will uh would be uh self self destruct. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You literally got this planet operating in self destruct mode, man. That's that's how bad you handle this shit. And the Lord said that Matthew 24, but uh, 22, 23, why not? Say uh if you just shorten the times, no flesh will be saved. Like, that's why if you uh if you buy like a um you buy a 16 year old uh teenage girl. Contrary to right, and when he did that, because look, what's the Lord doing? The Lord said he was going to turn out his face from us when we went left. So he knew the power wasn't going to be involved. So he thought, you know what I'm saying? He's he thinking like, yo, okay, if I do, if, I, if we uphold to this vibration, he won't never intervene, you know? So we can continue this way and, and, and build off this, right? Huh. Psalms 20, I mean, it's like, Psalms 50, verse 16. But up to the wicked, the most I swear, what has God to do? Play my stash, and the dog should take my trumpet in my mouth. 
Yeah, hey, and they, that's what they did. They learned the ways of Yahweh Shai, and, and, and they and so that they can gain a, a, a you know a, what they role reverse. You know uh, what's that shit? Jump the line like you like. Yeah, Indian cut, Chinese cut, one of them. They used to do that. They did that, man. They Chinese cutters, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they applying the same thing today. But they fought, they fought to realize that when they took the covenant, they got to uphold to the covenant. So now they get the judgment of the covenant. You see? They get the judgment of the covenant. Yeah, because like you said, they, they figure like if Israel turn away from the Lord, then how it's just going to stop building yep. what you're trying to earn. Yep. That's not how it would look. Yep. It says, it says, Seeing thou hatest instruction Ooh. and casteth my words behind thee. Yeah, God, man. So you cast you cast the words of the hell behind you. Man. Yeah, yeah. You got it like nobody gave you the manual to the car, how to work the car. You just let the oil just the, the engine about to, about to blow up because you ain't had an oil change since the Lord gave you the car, man. You ain't you ain't kept no ABC commandments since the Lord let you dry the earth, man. You know what well, I I'm about to do. I look. Look, I know, look. This this is the uh, instructions on how to put the uh, the TV stand and the shelf together. Right. You like shit. I got. Uh, I got to make this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got some duct tape. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That, that thing some is super small, glue, man. Oh man. Leave it look not. good when you put it there and forget <laughs> yeah. it. Yep. Then when you start putting it to use, this shit ain't, ain't built to last. Yep. Look at this. It's not immortal, yep. man. It says Isaiah 25 verse seven, and he. Will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Yeah, kind of, so the Lord is destroying that covering cast, man. All right, you you know, you can't, you're not, uh, your witchcraft is wearing off, man. You know, you got to freeze up. Yeah, kind of, the Lord is on my side, you know, it's hard to fail, but just inversely, if the Lord is, uh, you know, upset with us, then nations will take us down. And that's the point we in now. That's why we bear the indignation of the Lord. This is Judah chapter 5. And I started uh, 17. It says, And whilst they sin not before their power, they prospered because the power that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, the law, statutes, and commandments, it says, But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemy. So just like I was saying, because you know, how about you outside was pissed. He was dwelling in wickedness and sin. That's why it's a common theme. Nineveh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt. They was all overthrown at the peak of their wickedness. When Yahweh you know, outside said, All right, enough's enough. They think this should have joke. Hey, because why? Yahweh Shimmy outside is a man that should not lie. He has to do it. With reason, he's not going to just do nothing without a reason or a cause. He allow it to happen, so he have a reason to come in, like he's going to come in. And like I said earlier in my lesson, hey, he's coming, uh, uh, not as a man. He's, you know, he's coming with that demon-like power, man. You huh. know, that's why he allowing you to, your iniquity to reach the height of his creature, man. Yeah, and the right. Bible always constantly speaks about how the Israelites are going into captivity on these nations. Who else did that happen to, man? That didn't happen to nobody but so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, and our people had a nerve to uh, not believe this gospel and scoff at the Bible and scoff at the ways of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the same breath, say, hey, I wonder how we all uh, get out of this situation. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I realized, like, man, my family, they, my family don't understand life. <laughs> like, that's that's what yeah. it comes down to the two thirds. They don't understand life, yeah. man. You see it not even like just with the truth, but other things that they do, they don't do it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dealing with women, they don't do it right. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with work, they don't do it right. Dealing with your children. Come right. They, you know what I'm saying? Or, or scared to have children. Yep. You don't do it right. What the fuck are you scared to have children for? Because yeah, yeah. like, they, they live in, they trust their people, they trust that American dream. So to them, to a lot of our family, I'm speaking all like, to them, you got to have, you got to graduate from college, you got to have a car, you got to have a house, you got to have all these dainties just to raise a damn child, man. That's that's idiotic. And then they wonder why they ain't happy with life. Yeah. You're not getting the fruitful things out of life, man. Oh, the pleasing yeah. things that the only y'all about y'all trying to give you out of life. You get family, you know what I'm saying? The joy of children, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Good health, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You too caught up in this matrix. Hey, what what uh, 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 uh equal, man? They fruitful, man. Okay, a par young, fruitful. Hey, look, they, they be having like 18 kids, man, in one household. 
You know what I'm saying? Still eating. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord taking care of them, man. They ain't thinking about that, man. Because that's what they do. That's what we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, man. Exactly. The Lord, man. Just think of it. Exactly. Why are we worried about, you know what I'm saying? Or you go, well, I, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna have this much. Like, even if it was your first time, like, you might have been scared, like, damn, big responsibility. You know what I'm saying? My life about to change. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen. It wasn't even nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? They make two to seem like it's a million dollars a year. Like, what? And it only costs that much to uh, yeah. have a child. Yeah, it's simple, man. <laughs> you gotta know how to break it down, man. Right. Exactly. <laughs> when you eat, they eat. Don't you eat every day? You know what I'm saying? You eat, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. money that you spent. You used to ball out on yourself, buy it, you know yeah. Just cut back. If you if you too busy really trying to be caught up in the uh the clout, you know what I'm saying, and the mix, you know what I'm saying, the mix of the club and shit, then you it's gonna make this seem like a burden, man. But all the shit you you still invest, you know, extra play stuff yourself that you know your children, right? Yeah, it's easy. But anyway, it's like I think he has some more. Oh, okay. Uh verse 19. It says, but now are they returned to their power. And I come up from the places where they were scattered and I possess Jerusalem. I'm going to jump to the point. It says, Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against his people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Right. See, but they didn't, they didn't account mm -hmm. for Yahweh Shah said his blood and died on the cross for the nation of Israel, man. Right. See, that, that that's not going to stand forever. Because we, we all, we, we uh, the, 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 none that have fallen short of the glory of Yahweh Shah. Shah. I mean, that happened for the short for the glory of Yahweh Shemel Shah. So the Lord had to come, he died for our sins. So now, even though there's error within his people, we still going to be redeemed, man. It says, and let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, ooh, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. And that's beautiful because that's going to be when the curse is reversed, you know, when it's final, because, you know, the Lord deals with balance. That's why the idea in hell that you are uh, Christians and you bug up motherfuckers, uh, you bug up people, God, you know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and yeah. it shows that you're not reading. Like you said, that's going to come to pass. You're going to be able to the heathen in the kingdom. I know, right? <laughs> Isaiah 47, verse 6. It says, I was wrong with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy. Upon the ancients has thou very laid the yoke. Ooh. Come man. So you didn't, you didn't, right. <laughs> you ain't show no mercy, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you get James 2 and I think it's 13? Those that show no mercy, the Lord not going to show you no mercy, man. You know what I'm saying? You didn't show the, the Lord was wrong for his people, but he sent us in the captivity for a punishment. But you 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 uh withheld mercy, man. You 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 went overboard, man. You was butt breaking. Now you got dudes walking down the street switching, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that that came from you, man. He it's, said, he said, uh uh who uh, uh when they're iniquity out of hand, you poured into our fishes, man. Come on. Come on. This is verse seven. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Right. So you didn't consider, like I said, you didn't lay these things to your heart. You didn't consider that Yahweh Shadi anointed had to come, man. And the anointed was going to redeem the nation of Israel, man. So you, your rulership is not going to go on forever because our sins have been paid for, man. The elect sins have been paid for. with It says, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou. It's like it. Neither did it remember the latter end of it. See? In the latter end of you, like Elder Paul's target did the video, man. You next, he, he saw don't consider that they about to go into captivity. That's not crossing none of these people might find. Like your manager, the cut at the gas station. That's the that's the last thing on their mind is I'm about to go, I'm about to go into slavery. Hey, shit. A couple more years, I'll be in slavery. Hey. They're not, they not thinking them thoughts, man. Hey, I, if, 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 shit, if, you, if you're on a, a drug that's, that's that good, you ain't think about the consequences, man. Sure. You're on that high. Right. You want to get more. You know? Yeah. You ain't yeah. thinking about the consequences. Yeah, man. he said, um, Isaiah 13 said, I will sit and in, in, uh, I will ascend up to heaven and I will sit amongst, uh, uh, atop the congregation of the north, man. 14, man. Yeah, so let me tell you, Isaiah 14, so let me sit on high, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, verse 8, therefore, 
Hear now this pleasure, thou that art given to pleasure. It's like I read that wrong. Isaiah 47, 8. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasure, that dwellest carelessly. God. Yeah, the, uh, the, the land of all war villages, man. You know what I'm saying? The relax, the, the match the relax, man. My manager asked me, what, what, what's your 10 year plan? What, you know what what's, your, what's your goal for 10 years? Whole, whole I'm thinking, shit, this bitch burning up, yeah. you melting. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make some shit up. Oh, yeah. uh, well, you know, I want to buy a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never really learned how to buy a house in school. Yo, yo. I don't teach that in school. Yo. Yeah, I can't good. say I want America to be on fire. I'm gonna say I'm a terror. I'm a yeah. quick way, quick way on the watch list, man. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I'm saying? Job is dope. Right. Like, Hello. You'll be fired, man. Yeah. But Jake coming to the truth, the t shirt friends, you guys. Yeah. They'll be going to work. The America will be on fire. Yeah. 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 You're fired. It's all the slavery. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to shower. Two years I hope through slavery. Yeah. Oh, that's your thing. Oh, okay. and, that, and that's true, <laughs> man. Because when, when we had the t shirt, uh, 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 you know, mindset. <laughs> you know, that's how I was at work, man. I watched uh, what's that? Uh, 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 Goodbye, Uncle Tom. I was, I was saying some shit. Man. I, was, I was ready to, you know. But hey, the Lord took us out of that spirit, man, because they ain't, they ain't the way. Righteous spirit, that over righteous spirit, destroy that self. Why should God destroy yep. that self? Be yep. wise and simple, yep. honest and stuff. Yep. They said, because we, we in the midst of wolves, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He don't give a fuck about my 10 years. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about my goals yeah, in life, man. Yeah. He just, just pretending so that he can get what he needs out of me for the job. Yep, yep. It says, Isaiah 47, verse 8, Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Right? So again, they're not, they're not considering if they're about to go into slavery, man. We're about to separate families, man. We're about to sell their sons and their daughters, you know, to the hands of the Sabines, the children of the Sabines, man, to the Israelites scattered throughout the uh, Ethiopians, man. I mean, uh, Yemen. This is second. Uh, oh, man. This is Revelations 18 and 7. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I said a queen, and am no widow. And she'll see no sorrow. Therefore, yeah, I like it, I was telling the boss, uh, I was at work and the like, regional boss came and said, so it was the regional boss, the GM, and then the other manager, and me. And they just talking about how, yeah, you know, uh, I, live, I used to live in Denver, then, you know, then my family moved to DC, you know, and uh, then we got to move to Indiana because the job, and uh, I fly out three times a week, and I'm not long, you know, we're doing my face, man, and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about, Typical heated like ruling class shit. shit. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And then they just face the fact that they on top, man. Yeah. I'm just standing here like <laughs> similar stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing my whole life, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they did a, a dude, the one manager, he's younger than me. You know what I'm saying? But he talking about how he I bought this house, you know what I'm saying? I went inside, put 14 grand into the house, and you know, and you know what I'm saying? Just just this is showing how they dwell carelessly. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> they said, why? Because they said, what? Read it again. Yep. Yep. Uh, they said, uh, yep. ain't nobody ravaged that woman yet. Yep. The Lord about to come back and ravage that woman, man. Yep. America is yep. untouched, this is untouched land for our foreign enemies. Yep. Yep. But this land about to be touched by our foreign enemies. Yep. He said, uh, Revelation 18 and 7, how much she have glorified herself and live deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I said a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judges her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Yeah, because all the nations forsook the way of the Lord in a sense. Yep. Because the Lord called all the nations after his name. Yep. That's why the Lord gave them biblical nationality. Yep. But they they agreed to choose the nationality that Esau gave them yep. to hide themselves, to hide the word, to hide the importance of it, to hide the chosen people, man. Yep. And to bring confusion, a word of confusion to the planet Earth. So with the elite of all the nations is with that, man. Yep. They are with that. And, 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 and who, who oh, the Lord said, Iran, Iran is remembering themselves too, man. 
Oh, that, Persia. That, yeah, Persia, man. Yeah, <laughs> remember now that war like Yep. <laughs> yep. It says in Genesis that Ishmael was a wild man. Yep. And his hand was going to be uh, uh, against every man's hand. Uh, that's why I'm always so much trouble when you get a beat, right? That's crazy to say that because I think it was a fish like at the job. He was yelling at the body. He's like, fuck you! <laughs> really? uh, yeah, he said, I'm going to fuck you up! Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, I, it, was, it was a video of this one chick. She was uh, walking fast. She was like, fuck you, America. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was like, they just, they just uh, straightforward. Like, she, she was just, I ain't going to repeat it on camera, but she was saying some shit. That, you know what I'm saying? That would get her ass arrested, man. Yeah, she was walking into the building. You know, she had a little outfit on and shit. You know, head covered. Because that's how they feel, man. That's their nature, man. Yeah, no, you got it. I got that James 2. It says that. James 2 and 13. It says, uh, for he shall have judgment without mercy. Right, without mercy, man. That's going to be the house shot, man. It said that uh, um, Isaiah 14. Uh, uh, and there was none to uh, hinder. You know what I'm saying? There was none to help you. He had, he had, uh, what do you say? He had, uh, he had persecuted, uh, or he had, uh, oh, he might be, yeah, that's it. I'm on the team. Oh, go ahead. No, you can, no, you can, 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 This is, uh, James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has shown no mercy and mercy. Rejoicing against judgment, right? So, so the elect, the elect that show mercy is going to rejoice of uh, uh, the judgment. Man. I mean, how much you going to shine? You're going to go all these together and show no mercy against them. You know what I'm saying? Jake, I talk about like where you got a tool to give you the camera off of expression. The new way of unseen oppression, unseen oppression. Right, something they've never seen before. Just because now, just because now, uh, the, 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 the technology is the color, and you still black and white. I don't mean that that's shit. Hey, 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 the Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He smote, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. A continual stroke. No right. mercy, no man. mercy, man. Where did you stop? Yeah, come. Christopher Columbus said that he doesn't even let his sword down for an hour. Okay, I was said that. I didn't know if it was right. I said it in my letter. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, he said, yeah. He, said, he, said, he said he didn't put his sword down for an hour. He said, right. he said he can't remember the last hour he put his shit down. It was constantly gutting up, gutting up in here. That shit is sick, man. Right. How can you admit it? What the fuck? Kind of That was that blessing. You know what I'm saying? The Lord put that superhuman, demonic power yep. on them. Talk. Go fucking crazy. Hey, man, that's crazy. You said that because, uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, Y'all know where it's at when uh, that demon was on, uh, I think it was the Legion's uh, uh, parable with Mark. When, when that demon was cutting itself, uh, he was cutting yeah, well, it up. Ooh, and them demons be doing that shit, man. Yeah, the Acts, the 19, you know, they try to do an exorcism. Yeah, yeah. Yep. In the name of your house, yep. 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 Going to the two disciples. Yep. Uh, yeah. Whooping their ass. Yeah. The demon uh, whooped, whooked their ass and they left, they ran out naked. Naked, yep. <laughs> what? Yep. Yeah, yeah they, they ran out naked. Yeah, come on. That shit was funny, man. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, right? said Paul, I know. Right. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Die, yeah. I know. <laughs> It says Isaiah fourteen and six and six and six verse six. He who smoked the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger, persecuted and unhindered. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, right. we don't hinder, man. 
Yeah, man. Everybody's going to be here and say your house is all this. Yeah, let up. No, man. You're going to do a thousand years, man. A thousand freaking years, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, I in the field, sun up, sun down. Yep. That's what Isaiah 61, man. Yep, yep. You want to know your future, man. Yep. You're going to work the vineyards. You know what I'm yep. saying? So you're going to till the land. And you're yep. going to do a good job. Yep. Because you had no mercy, man. Right. It says Isaiah 47, verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, Woo. they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries. Right, man. So, like, the Spirit been saying all day, man, your lies, man. Yep. Your lies are being exposed, man. Your sorceries are not working. Yep. You put the uh, pandemic news on with people not, not trembling, man. Yep. Yep. The only people that's trembling is eating mice, yep. man. Yep. The curses is coming on you, yep. man. Yep. It says, take it in line. Yeah, and what, what did it say? Uh, it's. it's, it's not uh, he uh, fall upon his own oil. And what do say? His mouth, he set the uh, trap where he fall upon his own oil. Yeah, yeah, he fall upon his own snare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wicked that she's caught up in their own devices right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably got a, they probably got a uh, E. Mike vaccine and a Jake vaccine. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, two different But still, man. Two no, no, people is the only one that's uh, hypnotized. Yep. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in one month, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. Yeah, because your, your, your men is going to be getting slaughtered, man. Yeah, okay. okay? And, and and the men that's getting slaughtered are going to lose their children. And, and the women that's never their children are going to be going to captivity. Yeah. Put their children. It says, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorcery and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Yeah, so your wisdom perverted you, man. You know, did that sword, the fact that the Lord uh, made you wiser than Daniel, it perverted you, man, because you was always geared to... Uh, uh, grow wickedness. You know what I'm saying? For lack of better words, man. You, we, we, we wanted wisdom to. Solomon wanted wisdom to grow righteousness. You desire wisdom to grow wickedness and confusion, right, man. Right. So it it perverted you, man. Yeah. That's why uh, scriptures say, you know, wisdom will can destroy you, man. Yeah. This wisdom of you, how much knowledge has destroyed you, man. Yeah. And you ate too much honey, yeah. Yeah. and you vomited yeah. it back up. Yeah, I keep going. Oh yeah, come on, cause uh. Uh, uh, I was gonna say that, yeah, because it brings it back to the point where we started with that they're gonna use all this wisdom that they had. They seen it falling back on upon themselves, you know. Uh, uh, uh seeing the curses reverse, like the brother said, all these things are coming back on them. So now they're gonna try to what save their ass, and, and when a and when a nigga's in desperate measures and desperate need. When he said gotta save his ass, what he do? He put the he he he, he what is that? He throw the other one under the bus. So now he got a what? Falsely accuse us, man. You, you want to? You believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. Right. It would have been a joke. It would have been a joke, man. You might respond like that because I shook my head. No, man. Well, yeah, I already <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody in, in his life is in the movie. You're already in the movie. I love when they ask that question. Y'all see the movie? Yeah, you should the movie. You know what I'm saying? It ain't with this camera, man. It ain't the shoot. That's the blind right there. Right. They think the movie is being shot right yeah, here. Yep. Oh, that's why. Man, that's a matter of fact. That's why those people say that uh, they I see. Those people say they see, but they perceive not. They, they see what we do, but they don't perceive what we do. They don't yep. understand what we do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They say y'all shoot a movie. I said. I said, uh, no, I said, shoot Doc Ray. I said, yeah, yeah, kind of. You know what I'm saying? I said, we well, reading the Bible. You believe in the Bible? They say, yeah. But then they don't put two together. Okay, why are they reading the Bible while video recording, yeah, while yeah. long going down to the foot? They don't perceive yeah. what they see yeah. here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out here in the cold, I think some crazy. Man. Right, right. <laughs> you got more than that? Uh, yeah, can I say verse 11? Isaiah 47, verse 11. Therefore, shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee. 
thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers and the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So you're going to have to stand with your enchantments, man. And that's what you're doing. And it's not working. That's why Lord Sarcastic said, stand with your enchantments. Because these things that used to work, you got to stick with it because that's our only fucking game plan. And it's not working no more, man. So you're looking foolish. Yeah, because there never was no true enchantment against Jacob. Right. And the reason why it's really not working now on the front is because it's not working behind the scenes. Exactly. You you pray right. to your demons, yep. your astrologers, yep. your monthly prognosticators, they're yep. not getting no vision no more. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So therefore now what they're cooking up, it's not strong. It don't have that pool that it once had. Exactly. That's that's what uh Jane, I was gonna say. Damn, uh yeah, I, I was gonna get a preset. I forgot the preset to that. Uh, uh I brought it out earlier today, but read that real quick. I, Isaiah, Isaiah 31 and 1. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. I think it's on three. Yeah, I think it's on three. Con. Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. The Egyptians are men, carnal, but not power, right, man? And their horse is flesh and not spirit. They're, they're carnal, man. Okay, the modern day Egyptians are flesh. They're carnal and not spirit. Their power is carnal and not spirit. That's why they're chip. Their mark is carnal and not spiritual. Because why? Read that again. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. Power. So therefore, they can never access the spiritual side that they're trying to access. They never was deemed that. They never was deemed uh, that accountability. They never was deemed that access, man. You know what I'm saying? If I if I work in the building, you know what I'm saying? And everybody got access that work in the building. This nigga just gonna come in and walk. They say it's employees only. Why are you back here where? And the sign says employees only, man. You back here sitting at the lunch table and shit eating crackers. What, what, who is you, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, bro. You back in the lounge eating crackers like this, like you. You know what I'm saying? No, bro. They don't work like that. All right? Oh, you got it. Nah. It says, now the Egyptians are men and not our power, and our horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down. Right. So all you people that trust in Egypt, man, you're going to fall with this man. You know what I'm saying? Our families, y'all gonna fall with this man because y'all are invested in this man's system and his beliefs, man. You know what I'm saying? His beliefs are uh, uh integration. This nigga said the, the key was integration. This nigga said, I think the key is integration. But um, you know, outside of your research, outside of school, man, you said that? Oh, uh, on, on the podcast with my uh, my brother, friend, uh, this is how y'all uh, like to him in the current climate is integration. So obviously you niggas don't do no research on Martin Luther King yeah. and uh, Malcolm X. Martin Luther King himself said that he felt like he led his people into a burning building dealing with integration. You ain't do you, you don't do no research on statistics of the fact that you know what I'm saying we had uh eighty percent uh of our population was married before 1960. You know what I'm saying we had our own businesses. We had our own uh, schools and hospitals. We had so-called Black Wall Street. All of that was before integration, dummy. What happened after integration? N uh, uh, destitute, man. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 own, no, none of our own anything, man. That was after integ uh, integration. That's why Martin Luther King, like I said, look it up. He it was he was quoted saying that he made a mistake. He felt like he led his people into a burning building because he integrated you niggas, man. And that was the last speech he gave the night before he, right before he died. Right. Because Malcolm X, I mean, not Malcolm X, uh, Malcolm, I mean, not Malcolm, 
Michael Luther King, which his, his real name was Michael, okay, and his father changed the name to Martin uh, in the middle of his life after the Roman Catholic uh, 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 you know, priest or whatever. And he, uh, damn, off the train of thought. But, you know, uh, oh, that's what I want to say. He worked for the uh, Rockefellers, man. Yep. Martin Luther King was yep. a goddamn sellout, man, an insider, man. All right, he was paid, was set up to integrate you niggas so that you would be uh, reliant on your oppression. Yeah, that's why he was an alpha. You know, he was into that fraternity shit. You know, right. he was all low level Illuminati, you know, secret uh, parties, secret things, societies. Like, you know? He was in all that, man. He was deep, man. Hey, man, when you dig deep, you find out some shit about that man, boy. Yeah, and that was a huge thing that he did with integration. That's why the Lord prophesied about that man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like it's a common thing among his bug outs is unity. Unity yeah, camp right. coming yeah. together among right. Jake, yeah. coming together mingling with the heathen, yeah. and it's, the scriptures <laughs> clearly say that the Lord is coming. To cause division. Same spirit, man. And it's true. You know what I'm saying? The key of integration. I said, oh, really? Oh, really? I just thought they just, they just inspire to do shit. They don't really want to perfect this. If, you, if I have a radio show, the shit I'm speaking, I want to have research to back it up. I want to speak back, so I'm not going to give my own opinion for an hour. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, man? You just speak outside of your day. You don't know what integration is, plus, man. No facts, no facts. You saw you really show yourself to be ignorant, man. Ignorant, that's right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we just read trusting in Egypt, man. Yeah. You trusting in integration. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, why, and why you say that? Man, who are there to find you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, why you sitting there, you know, uh, with that mindset, that, uh, that's another tactic Esau used to, uh, to trap you niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Keep him docile, man. My brother's talking about. I guess he's been on a woman's face. And all the time, she keeps it a secret to her parents. They're all cool. Are you niggas, man? Yep. And that's, hey. He's a fly, y'all. We're going good. You know what I'm saying? I right, was well, certain need to be explained, but it was really hard because her family. Anyway, I think it was, but then they say when it's, when it's a heathen, and they think that way, oh, it was just how they was raised, it was just their culture. But then when right, it's Jake right, that was right. raised that way, oh, we gotta change, yeah. we gotta we gotta be integrated, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta accept other people. Yeah. Man, you niggas hey, got hey, Stockholm hey. syndrome. Man. Talk, my, uh, my, my, bro, that's crazy because my uh hypocrite, my, my great uh my great uh what you call it, my great uncle, my, my grandfather's brother, you know what I'm saying? He he did that, man, because they you know they got that they look Italian, man. Right. You know, they got that little silky hair, you know, that, that pale face. You know, and my, my great uncle, he was dating this uh, this uh, an Italian chick, and her and her and her people, her people are, are in the mafia to this day, man. They they in the heavy mafia to this day, man. And, and they and they would have found out that he was Jake, they would have killed him. So what they had to do was they had to keep the relationship a secret. And my and my uncle ended up. Why did he do that? Just to make it in this life, man. Right, and my, my grandfather yeah. sucked it the other day. That's it. And just so he could make a living for himself, man. And my great grandmother approved of it and said, "You got to do what you got to do." So he left the house, went to go date her, and, and he had to stay away from his family for for all these years. And he just passed. And then when they had when they had a funeral for him, and they started saw they started to see some Jakes and the family show up that looked like him. And then hit that her then her family looking like, "What the fuck? What is this?" You know, and then later on down the line, she uh she found out and her mom found out. But but the point is that they they despise you, niggas. They despise you. They despise you, man. I understand. Yeah, man. And baby, that's sick, man. But why, why, like you said, I'm with women. You don't do, you don't do, you don't do right, man. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna tell you, you get played, man. Honestly, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she using you for whatever you can. You give her, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's sex, you know what I'm saying? And she got another dude who her family know. Yeah. That's, yeah. And the whole time, you know what I'm saying? You're in a visible relationship. Yeah. What type of shit is that? But you faithful, though. I quote unquote faithful. What you faithful to? Yeah, I'll be thinking how brothers was in the world. Like, what the hell is like what you doing in the world? Sip. Yeah. And that's I U I U I C, you know what I'm saying? We just, we just, you know what I'm saying? We just speaking on spiritual things, man, because this shit is ridiculous, man. Yeah, I was just sitting on my mind, man. I'm like, this shit is crazy, man. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, when it's the heathen, 
oh, it's how they was raised. It's their culture. That's what I'm like, yeah, that's they, what don't, they don't got to change. Yeah. They can speak yeah. up. We just have to accept how they think. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need to change how we think. We need to accept them. Yeah, man, like you said, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah like that, that shit is, that's a Stockholm syndrome for real, man. Like, that's, that's sick, man. Let me, uh, let me get to something to say. That reminds me of, um, I just feel like a lot, man. <laughs> Next week, we can have a conversation, man. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You niggas have no, no, that's how the Lord really blinded you, man, because this is all natural, these are, these are all natural things, like, like, this is how, like, somebody comes up to you now. Yeah. You know they don't even have a, uh, mental capacity to sense, like, okay, this person is fucking Yeah, they still, you know what I'm saying? I can't really fuck with their kind, like, yep. that's all they're really not all the way with me. You know, they just friends. But they were not they, 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 they all shit. Right. Like they were their kids, they the niggas. But they say they look, they fucking niggas. Bro, I was in the world. My uh, my supervisor, my supervisor was my weed man. You know, and we used to smoke all the time, man. And he uh, that nigga, they used to be some weird off the off shit, man. You know, they cool. You know what I'm saying? As far as you know, what I'm saying so they do some. So like, cool. what the fuck? Oh yeah, man, they do some eat my shit. You like, man, hold on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or they just say some shit. Some slick shit, normally gay shit. Yeah, yeah, it's always gay shit, but then it's some shit you cool you direct. You know what I'm saying? But you be having to hold your tongue based off the position you're in and shit. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, awesome. wise as a serpent. Like, but that's Jake. I mean, that's Esau for you, man. They show you who they are, but Jake want to continue to comfort them and, and, and keep them. They to make excuses for America. Yeah, man. Make excuses yeah, to man. why America should go on. Yeah, because man. we want to keep over the line of this going to change, man. This yeah, shit man. never going to change, man. This shit got to be melted, man. Yeah, it got to be uh, done. It, it, it got to be purged, man. Yeah, man. What the hell you, what are you holding on to? Yeah. Point me to one time in history where you was treated uh, so-called equally, even though you above. Just point me to the time when you was treated equally, man. Right. Even though you above. Right. Right. Can't, can't do it. Can't do it, man. Right. Go ahead and point to that one day, 1994, yeah. August 4th, yeah. my birthday party, yeah. my white friend, yeah. he gave me a nice gift. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. I'm talking about on a, on a, on a national, a, a macro, right, you know what I'm saying, on a macro scale, man. Yeah. They'd be willing to have no uh, Supreme Court justice yeah. cases that didn't, wasn't obviously going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, because Jake think if it didn't happen at home. It, 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 it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's happening to your whole nation. Right. You know, showing right. that you fall, you still fall under that umbrella, bro. Yeah, they, they it's happening to you. All the part of the business. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? They don't see it as a nation. That's why yeah. we all got to come together. So they don't see, you know what I'm saying? I have to stick with my people. They don't see no significance in there. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, man, let me just replace. Second Peter 2 or 7. Verse five, and spare not the whole world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. See, we preach in righteousness. Our conversation is the righteousness, man. And they'll never invite me on that show, man. <laughs> that be, that'd be, uh, they'll never, they'll, they'll, that'd be the most frustrating episode they ever had, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's too much truth. Yeah. They don't want to deal with truth. They're dealing with they dealing a false reality. They want to hear them school words. Bro. Yeah, school words, right. That's all it's about. Politically correct. They be like, they be like bullshit. yeah, they be like, uh, I'd rather not talk about this right now. Or I, I don't want to right. talk about this right now. Yeah, just well, not right now. I just think it's a thing. Of, <laughs> I don't think everybody yeah. is. I mean, you know, I think it's a, yeah. it's, 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 you know, each each his own. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not mad if anybody feels this. Jake is never mad. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad. I'm not saying. Jake is never saying anything. Nigga, why don't you just say it, man? Why don't you yeah. just stand on what you yeah. believe, Straight man? Straight up. Hey, it shows you that what they don't have the uh, spirit of the Lord with them because right. that's not the spirit of the Lord, man. Right. The, uh, Hebrew, our very tongue, bro. Our very, uh, our very tongue that we spoke is straightforward. You right. know what I'm saying? Showing you that we lost, com or we were completely lost destroyed, man. Yeah. Eating a lot of books. Yeah, exactly. It's going to say using not many words. And it's saying that your yay be yay, your yay be yay. Right, hey, man. Right. Straightforward, man. Right. You know, it says a wise man use few words, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? God. That's God. why I don't talk much, man. God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, what is it? Right, right. Uh, it's in that same chapter. Okay, okay, yeah. It says, uh, Second Peter 2, verse 5, and spare not the old world, yeah. but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the blood upon the world of the ungodly. 
and turning the cities of Sodom and the world into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example Woo. unto those that should live ungodly. Yeah, man. Man. Yo, you you take a learn from the examples that was before them. You know what I'm saying? The history that was before them. They didn't learn from uh Emmett Till. Right. They didn't learn from Tamir Rice. Right. They didn't learn from uh Megger Evers. They didn't learn from Martin Luther King, from Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? They didn't learn that from Black Wall Street. They didn't learn from uh, uh Jim Crow. They didn't learn from Buck Breaker. They didn't learn from uh Alligator Bait. You didn't learn, you didn't learn from none of these things, man. You know what I'm saying? You didn't learn from uh, child slavery. You didn't learn from the transatlantic slave trade. You didn't learn from the sub saharan slave trade. You didn't learn from the Silk Road slave trade. You didn't learn, man. You didn't learn from uh, Rodney King. You didn't learn from uh, Mike Brown. You didn't learn from uh, 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 Philandro Castile, man. You didn't learn, man. You know what I'm saying? I can go on and on. I can literally go on and learn from uh, Kitty Smith. You know what I'm saying? You didn't learn, man. But then we supposed to come out here and, uh, and, and just uh, bow down to be someone hug him and shit, man. Hug it out. Let bygones be bygones. They're trying to love this nigga, man. No, they still trying to love their oppressor, man. You know, hey, that's like I said in my lesson, man. Well, when you had the women that was uh getting uh raped by the slave masters, eventually the women started to like that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, eventually they started liking it. So it's like that's what Jake is. They in that they in that stage. And they, they like the rape, man. You know, to the point they they not going against uh uh you know they massing no more, man. Proverbs three thirty one: They be thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Yeah, con, man. So that's what that's what it comes down to. Yeah, con. This is Romans. Oh, it's like that. One Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written four times were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Everything that was written four times was written for our learners, man, so we can know. And that, and that includes like the uh, the things that happen in the world with the world, uh, you know, the worldly examples, man. That's include everything, man. Yeah, because let Jake tell they don't have no enemies. Yep. Yeah, they sit up there talking about the oppression of the enemy. Yep. Huh. And why? Why can't they change? But you don't have no enemies. Yeah. They scared. He's scared. How everybody in the world got enemy, but you don't. But you don't got enemy. How every animal got an enemy, but you don't. How every plant got an enemy, but you don't. Yeah. Come on, man. Even damn flowers got an enemy. It's called weed. Hey, even, <laughs> hey, even the world got an enemy. The, the right. globe that we live on has an enemy, man. And that's Esau, right? right? <laughs> Come on, man. What, what are you saying, bro? Right. Or, or I should say, well, sin. Yes. Yeah. The world, the, the enemy of, of the world is sin, man. You got it, though. Come on. I said. Chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. It took a special spirit to hold us feminized too, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's the real This holy day, it might you know be some saying? tips on sewing or some shit. Right, like right, that. right. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Other than that, man, what are you talking about? I mean, you've been led by a woman. That's why I read that. That's yeah. why I called that scripture. Yeah, yeah. 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 beautiful. You, you, uh, you're in that woman worship. Uh, God is worship. Right, right. That that hey, that's Kevin Snyder's going in, man. He's going in on the chick this week, man. You know, she was talking about how uh, he was saying like, yeah, you know, men, we don't need women. Women need men. She's like, no, I think that. We, we, we don't need guys either. He's like, no, no, that's bullshit. He's like, he's like, he's like, no, man. He's like, so if all men disappeared today, 
would women be able to keep up the infrastructure that's currently in place right now? Damn. Would they be able to uh, work in the factories, keep the trucks moving, you know what I'm saying, do all the heavy lifting? Would they be able to keep the infrastructure of the planet ever going right now? Uh, I don't know. Are you, are you fucking retarded? Uh, man, on top of that, but then, but, but, let's flip it. But then if women, if all women disappear, could men keep the infrastructure that's currently in place going? Yes. Of course, because yes. they, they're doing it now. Because they're doing it now. You don't see no women working the roads. You know what I'm saying? You don't see no women uh building highways. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. Because they can't do it. Yeah, they can train them to do it, but they're not fit to do it. And that's what they do. They uh they, they start to uh, have yeah, they have movement the marches right. to try to push and they try to show that they can do what men right. can do. Right. Why the fuck do you want to do what a man can do? Right. That's that just be a woman. Just be, a woman. Just be woman. soft and, and right. comfort. Uh right. you know, I want to lay my head on your leg type right. shit. Like, let's be that. Be at the house and you know, hold your strength, man. I said you can't, yeah, man. Right. Like, it's just, it's just, uh, everything's out of whack. Everything's upside down, man. Because they, why all the plots and all the snares that Esau has set up, and, and, and each one was set up to uh, every specific thing for a woman, for a man, for the children, for the, for the, for the education, for the everything. It was a plot for everything, man. It says, um, Second Peter two, verse eight, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing. Vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and reserve and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment will be punished. That's that that's that nuclear fire, man. The nuclear mission, man, be a World War Three, man. You know what I'm saying? People can walk up and down like it ain't gonna happen. They can continue to try to, you know, stop their ears. Nah, man. This word hit every last person that walked past, man. Hit the too. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. trying to walk past. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 But, so, but so what's the day? Of so what's the day of judgment? Right. So yeah. but that comes after. Right. So they gonna say that's the day of death. You know? man, that's the day you die. But they say you go when you die, you go to hell. You you, you separate and you go where you need to go for eternity. So well, the day of judgment still has to come. So what you go? The Lord gonna pull you out of hell, and then He gonna judge you in a lake of fire on earth, and then push you back in hell, man. Right. Like, it's like everything is just out of whack, man. Right. Uh, hell death and hell was passed into the lake of fire. hell. Hey, and we understand where y'all coming from because it's hard to, to break away from the strongholds, but that's why you study and you study and you pray and you fast and you get built up by the brothers and you study and then eventually, you know what I'm saying, you shake that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't saying it's going to be easy, but at the same time, nigga, you got to get rid of it. Yeah. Hey, man. You're going to get it. Wisdom Solomon 8. It's 20, what's that, 21? He said, I cannot obtain wisdom except for the most high giver to me, man. You know? Hey, can we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got, you got to ask him for it. You're going to touch on the two verses real quick. Yes, you got to. Just because I was there. You got I forgot exactly what I think it was like seven, eight, but you could just type in time. It's Acts chapter 24, verse 1. Yeah, so we're reading this because it come, come full circle. Everything that uh, the spirit brought out today is to say what? Now, all these plots and these snares brought against uh the children of uh, of, uh Yasha Allah, they're gonna use everything all they they, they summon they summon everything up. It's like a bubble, and they're gonna eventually pop it and it's gonna come down on all the people that they need to come down on. You can read that same thing in the whole chapter of Revelation 12, from 12 on down, or whatever. Revelations uh, 17 and, and many other places. He, uh, the Lord, the Lord is warning us and giving us a heads up that they're going to come. In Matthew 24, or any other place, the Lord, the Lord is warning us that they're going to come against the men of the Lord, and they're going to uh, accuse us of 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 things that we are not guilty of. Okay, because why they see that they have no time left, so they have to throw us under the bus as much as they can. And hope the bus kill us when it, if it if it runs us over, 
You got it. So that we got to read what happened to Paul, and, and Paul got accused of what they're trying to accuse the Israelites of today, man. You got it. Acts chapter 24, verse 1. And after five days, Ananias, the high priest, descended with the elders and with a certain orator named Tertullus, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth. So you got insiders. Then you got people working the streets. You got people in the camps. They look like brothers. They come in Ezekiel 33, right? They, they come as the people and say, as my people. They, and, and, but they actually, then they report it back to the governors. They report it back, you know what I'm saying, to the higher ups. You say, okay, yeah, they, they went to camp on Thursday. So this Saturday, you know, they're not going to have camp on Saturday this week. You know, they're going to, you know, they went to have camp on Thursday. You know, they got them telling them things. So then you got secret agents, they ride past and, and they confirm it. And then sometimes they even have people come up to the camps, you know, like, oh, yeah, and they start asking questions. And then they leave. They get the car, you know, they get our information from us. You know, you got it. Okay. And when he called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, See, that by thee we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy providence. We accept it always and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. Yeah, because with the, this word, you know, you know, you read it too. this word is a flaming fire. So when you read Jeremiah 11, you, you see that the, uh, uh, the Lord said he, he has protested uh, uh, he has protested against Israel. This is a protest, okay? So they're going to use this, the, the preaching on the streets, which we were commanded to do, against us, okay? To, to, to accuse us, right? Go ahead. Come on. Because they're, they're going to call it like... Uh, go ahead. No, you got it. I was going to say something. You got it. Verse 4. Notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou wouldest hear us of thy clemency a few words. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world. Yeah, so they so accused Paul of being a man of sedition, man. Uh, 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 you got that definition real quick? Yeah, of sedition? Let's read that real quick. This is what they call, they, this is what they accuse him of. All right, you got it. Sedition. Incitement of resistance to or insurrection against lawful authority. They accuse Paul of insurrection against the, uh, the lawful authorities, man. So that, they're going to use the same tactics, tactics, man. Why? Because the Lord required which is passed. It's the same. It's the same nigga that was in rulership then, man. So, so as we brought out, y'all want to? Uh, what's the word you use for the uh, for the unity? Uh, integrate. Integrate. Y'all want to integrate, man? You know what I'm saying? But but how you gonna integrate when he's the same goddamn people that was doing that? Ain't they gonna do the same thing again? Uh, yes, you got it. It says, "For we have found this man a pestilent fellow." They found him a pestilent fellow, right? A a a a pest, a motherfucking thorn in their side, right? You got it. And a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ring leader of the sect of the Nazarenes. They accuse him of ring leader of the. Uh, the second the Nazarenes, man. They say this is the, this nigga is about to cause uh, something that we don't we, we 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 can't let happen, man. You know, it's, imagine us right now we preaching and then it's a crazy a crazy uh, uh, uh crowd. That's why the unity camps is uh of uh, uh, is not of the most hot because the unity camps gather all them big ass crowds. It's easy to uh point the finger like yeah these niggas is starting an uprising, man. They starting to uh about to start a war, man. These niggas coming out with army suits and shit. Army fringes and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just all type of things that, that, that they're gonna use just from you Israelites thinking y'all doing the right thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You got it, all right. 15, 15, 15, 15 verse 14. Well, to the world. What up, well? And them that love their head for the sword and that destruction draw blood, and one people shall stand up. To fight against another and swords in their head. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their king nor prince, and the force of their action shall stand in their power. So this is what they accuse Paul of. Right? They accuse Paul of, of, of rising up with, with uh, weapons of warfare, man. What you see in the earth? What you see in the earth, man? Ain't that something? And that's the same thing they're gonna accuse us of yeah, oh, terrorists, man. man. Exactly. They're gonna say simple, man. The reason the prophecies is happening is because of these niggas. Yep. And, and that's true. Yep. 
We killed yep. you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't directly do it. We didn't, huh. we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, overtly do it. Huh. We, we overtly did it. You know what I'm saying? We indirectly did it. But hey, okay. hey, but they gonna do it. Wait, wait. We read the scriptures and it's turning to life. Yeah, we can't help that. Yeah, Sorry, man. They gonna do it like they did Eve in the garden, man. They gonna they gonna use smooth. They gonna they gonna use certain key words. They already do it. They yeah, already use it. I mean, yeah, I said they use it, but they already doing it. Yeah, you man. Know that's what why H.O.I. was at the January sixth. Exactly. <laughs> they already oh, do it. Boy. Yeah. That's why you guys was at the yep. January sixth. Yep. So that so that that can happen. Yep. So they can say, see, the niggas was a part of it. Yep. And them uh, P.H.I.s was a part of it. Yeah, yep. The identity extremists. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. And then that's why they set niggas up to go to gun ranges with fringes on. You know, that's why they, bro. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's right in front of your face. Every time a riot like that happened, a protest in the streets, I always see like a three or four shakes and, and separate increments walk past the screen with fringes on. But they set you up, man, and y'all don't see it, man. This is a big setup, and y'all not ready for it, man. Are y'all going to be able to uh, escape the net and get out the net? Or do y'all have uh, uh, sharp enough swords to cut the rope when y'all get caught in that trap? Or are y'all just going to be able to y'all gonna get stuck in that trap and it's going to uh, swing up into the tree and nobody going to be there to help you, man? Until until uh, the Lord bring that fire and burn that wood up, man. You got to make a decision, man. You got to make a decision, and, and, and you got to make it now, man. Okay, all we all know is up to the Lord, but you gotta make it now, man. You gotta pray that the Lord give you the spirit to make a uh, decision to choose Him, man. Right now, man, repent and, and, and hold fast, man, because uh, our salvation draweth nigh, man. It's closer than we uh, than we will believe, and we gotta know that our enemy is He lives, man. We have to know our enemy lives, and He's right in our fucking face, man. You know, a magician always hides his tricks in plain sight, man. He's the grand magician. He's hiding himself in plain sight, man. You know, the Joker, when he don't have his makeup on, you don't know he's a Joker, man. But you can still tell by his characteristics that you have discernment. You're like, hold on, this nigga's he doing the same shit uh, uh, the Joker was doing on, on TV, on a uh, news channel, man. The way he laughing and shit, I, it, that's easy to see, man. But they can't see Esau, Wicked E, or Dr. Evil laugh, man. They got to see it with the makeup on to say, okay, that's the enemy. You see what I'm saying? But hey, we see it without the makeup on, man. We see we the Lord, the Lord lift your skirt up, and we and we see your dirty drawers, man. You know, exposed. we being exposed, man. Come, on, man. So, so with that, man, we want to give all honor and glory again to Yahweh, 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 Never honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone again. We will well teach you all the sound doctrine. Be a great example to the ministry and the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh, Shah through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah as he commanded, man. All right. Never, uh, uh, strong Shalom to uh, you know, the hopeful elect that's enduring these temptations uh, and these troubling times that's coming upon us uh, as Jacob trouble approaches and as the hour of temp uh, temptation is already approaching some brothers like in Sweden and overseas, man. UK, you know. So much Shalom and, and all praises to the Most High that that he give y'all endurance, you know, as y'all go through these things before we it hit us, man. You know, so with that, Shalom. Shalom. Baba boy.